Our next stop was near Salhusen in northern Germany. It turned out we hadn't just brought the X8 from the UK, we'd also brought the rain. We want to test the X8 here because of the difficult conditions, particularly the wet conditions that we find here. We've been here for two weeks and it has rained almost every day. That means we can test the traction drive of the machine, especially the effect of the 42-inch tires, to gain experience under these conditions. We have two members from the testing team who are monitoring the technical aspects of the machine. Then we have two people from engineering who are looking at what the machine does in the field. You said that the conditions are particularly difficult and wet. What would be a normal length of cut for this customer? I would say the cutting lengths are between 6 and 10 millimeters. The biogas plants need an especially short cut in order to produce good silage. We need to crack the kernels really well because the biogas operators demand high quality. We're testing the machine here because the owner also uses comparable machines and we want to compare the X8 with these. That includes John Deere as well as competitor machines. There are three parameters that we want to compare. First, the forage quality. Last week we obtained several forage samples from different machines. Then we're looking at fuel usage and the throughput. It was important for the test team to accurately compare fuel consumption and performance with the contractor's other machines. Collins, Collins I see Marcel is still tightening some screws. What's still missing? We have a Kral fuel meter that still needs to go in the can. Can you show me that? This is the device. Using this, from the cab, I can determine the litres of fuel used. So during the harvest, during the harvest and during the individual job, I can look at it any time to see the consumption. Great! Keep up the good work. The contractor Hartmut Brockmann was pleased with the performance of the large tires in the wet soil. First, the forager needs to be able to drive through these wet areas without getting stuck because that costs us time and money. As we can see, that's working well here. It is the large tire diameter that decreases the rolling resistance and that allows us to master the situation better and we don't get stuck as often. Very good. And your first impression here in the field of the machine? I would say, first of all, a fantastic overall impression of the machine. The exterior, there's been a lot of progress. What's important to me for the future is that there is less for the driver to worry about. That can be done mainly through automatic steering system, automatic drive, so that everything happens automatically. Also, some things regarding the functions, user friendliness and the radio contact between employees. So that, that happens smoothly. So automation and driver comfort was important for the contractor, but the biogas plant manager was more interested in the kernel cracking and harvesting speed. I represent the biogas plant Brogenlander, which has an installed electrical output of 5 megawatts. We run an 8 kilometer raw biogas network and have two local heating networks that we supply through satellite block heating stations. Looking at the harvesting logistics required here, what are your demands of a contractor? What does he need to bring to the table? He's got to have a lot of power to harvest around a thousand hectares in nine days. And he must ensure that all the corn kernels are cracked. You've seen the samples from our machine. What do you think? That was indeed from your machine and the quality is very, very good. The machine is very powerful. The team were pleased with the progress, but there's still more development needed. Over the last two weeks, we completed all the tests that we'd set out to do. That means we analyzed the cut quality, took cutting samples from this machine, from the 7950 and the competitor machine. 
We carried out all the performance tests and all of them turned out as we expected. So we were at the level that we'd expected for the 800 PS class. That's all great. There are definitely still things to improve about the machine. We have several components that we still want to try out to see if we need to improve them or can improve them in order to incorporate that into the mass production. Then I hope you have better luck with the weather, that it doesn't rain every day as it's been doing so far. I'm excited to see where we'll go next to visit the X8. Peter was right about the rain. The next stop couldn't have been more different. The arid plains of central California, where the maize is tall and very dense. 